But yeah, ain't none of these children baptized, bro. Around the world, they took God and discipline out of school. So who the fuck they gonna listen to? They ain't got nobody. They ain't got no discipline or God in them. So this shit gonna be even fucked up. Scary for real. Cause on the real, ain't nothing but somebody you know. Like Birmingham, all these cities be small, bro. But your grandma, granddad, they could have marched in the parade to get us uh, through the segregation stuff. They could have been nigga that killed. They killed each other, but don't even know his daddy and his daddy were tight, tight back in the day. Grandma, granddad, everybody was tight needed. But now nigga get so it's so. Nigga get jealous of each other, scared of, you know, just some niggas just be scared of niggas just off the back, gonna kill them because they just scared as hell. But most of the time, it be just jealousy. Nigga don't want to see a nigga come up or do better or have some shit. Nigga rather, nigga, nigga have his nose up at you and you don't even know why, bruh. Bro, I ain't never in my heart just been a hater ass nigga of anybody. It too much energy to take, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm the type that were like, okay, I see you ain't fucking with me. Well, fuck you too. I ain't fucking with you either. I'm a Leo. You feel me? Shit, I, I love people, but I ain't gotta have people around me either. I don't, I'm on some real shit. It really, you know, I'm a, my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Then with me, I'm an artist, bro. With this artist shit, you can't just turn this shit off. You can't just cut that shit off and be like, oh, bro, it's been so many times where I, I ain't fuck, I ain't, bro, I ain't doing this shit no more. And don't really do the shit, but in my mind, bro, so many goddamn verses and different shit coming up in my mind to put together, and I had to go put that shit down on the paper, and you feel me? Or I might have to go get that shit out, because you just can't turn that shit off, bro. Because I be hearing for want to down talk. A artist, a nigga that's still rapping, like, you know, someone at my age. I'm gonna speak for the folk that's my age. I'm gonna speak for me too. Bro, I done did all that shit and still gonna do it. Work whatever job, whatever the fuck, to live the maintain to take care of the house, whatever the fuck nigga gotta do, bro. If you ain't never had that you really wanted to do in your life, you know what I'm saying? That ain't got you, cut it. Nigga, this music shit. That shit got a motherfucking hole on me. I cannot even be trying. Bro, that shit gonna come in my mind and I gotta get this shit out. With the music, us artists, we gotta get that shit out, bro. It don't even matter if a nigga making money off the shit or not. Nigga wanna make money. But a lot of time, bro, nigga gotta get that shit out, bro. Like I gotta have somebody like, you still, you know what I'm saying? Like you still, you know what I'm saying? Think you gonna make it and all that shit. Like ain't even the point of me making it, bro. The point is, I'm doing what the fuck make me happy. They make my soul happy. If I went doing this shit right here, I ain't no telling what I might be doing. I might be kicking in your shit. But my mind on, on, on a totally different level, bro. I, I, my, the music is my therapy. I came up playing football. I always had some shit I was doing to keep me kind of not doing too much of the other shit that I don't need to be doing. I came up playing football. I was a little football player. I thought I was going to go pro. Now, that's some shit I thought I was going to do. Nigga, I came up since a little nigga playing football. You feel me? Head hunter. Love to eat. Love to hit, nigga. Little league, nigga. I played quarterback, running back, kicker, strong safety, linebacker, hitter. You will see a nigga come from a motherfucking quarterback position and go out that bitch in the linebacker and kill a bit. But I love to eat. Head, I'm trying to eat that face. Bah! I'm I want that head. When I'm tagging the bitch, I'm trying to run through that bitch head, bro. When I'm toting the ball, when I'm running that bitch, I'm trying to uh uh shake your ass, last spring your uh, bitch. I'm trying to run straight over your motherfucking ass. Nigga, tell you that shit. I ain't no boasting ass nigga about me because I know who I am, bro. Ran 4 4 coming out of high school. 4 4 to 8. That's what I would time it. Pride was a little faster than that. That just was one time, you know what I'm saying? Cold Drake time, 448. Nigga tell me, like, Brian, know you that fast. We went to, we went down to Arbor, nigga. I picked that bitch out, you know what I'm saying? Like the Selmo Selm Drill. Nigga, I picked that bitch out, ran that bitch back by 70 yards, nigga. This that touch shit, you feel me? 
So you know a nigga, you know what I'm saying? My first motherfucking shit was, I thought I was going to be a motherfucking football player, bro. I'm just being real. You feel? I still remember, like, I feel like my life would be different, bro. Nigga, the coach sent for me, nigga. That nigga sent the nigga to pick me up for practice, bro. I never forget that shit. This shit probably about 2000. 2002 or some shit. I don't know, going to 12th grade. That nigga said, bro, you know what I'm saying? Clibby sent me to get you, bro, for practice. I ain't gonna lie, what I did, I ain't go to practice that song and shit. Nigga, I thug the fuck out that song. I had a car and shit, nigga. Nigga, nigga did all kind of shit. But me older now, I just be thinking like, bro, what the fuck? Bro, yo, like, you probably be a different nigga, boy, if you want to motherfucking went to practice over the summer. Because when school started, I, I played football and shit, but I was out of shape and shit like a motherfucker. I was still with fast and tight because I lived them weights and shit, but I was out of shape from smoking and doing all kind of shit, bro. And still was out that bitch. Bro, like, bro, every time you get that bitch, you getting about 13 yards. Every time I touch that bitch, first down. I'm about to break this whole every time. First, first, first run, I think I broke that bitch by 35, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming behind another superstar nigga, bro. You, you feel him? What the star, J.O.? He five. I don't give, he was five, but I don't give a fuck. I feel like he still can't fuck with me. That's the mentality you got to have. But that nigga was five. That bitch, he was faster than me and everything, but... Them niggas was a little bit faster than me. But when it come to shake a nigga and run your ass over, nigga, they ain't fucking with me. And I ain't waiting for probably about 150, 155. High school, but bitch, I was solid. Abbed up, cut up, stupid. But I think about that shit like, boy, if you would have went to practice over the summer, you would have been working out. You would have been in shape for the next, for the next year. The, the season, when I started the year, I got out there, did good, hurt my leg and shit, you feel me, sprung my ACL. So that set me down too. But like Cole said, he was like, man, I hold on to him like, man, if you would've came and practice, was a, practice with us over the summer, bro, you would've been unstoppable. Cause they couldn't fuck with me then. Nigga, I'm out there, bitch, off them blunts and goddamn natural ice, all kind of shit over the summer. Acting a fool, you feel me? But that's what I'm saying, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna get all into what I could have been and should have been and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. You feel me? The youngsters ain't no structure and no organization. And they do not have God in them because they took God out of school when I was little. They took the discipline out of school when I was little. So that's what we going through. I ain't, I ain't nothing to base discipline on. They don't know this. All they know is that I, bitch, I'm in, bitch, I'm out, bitch, what up, hey, whatever. That's all they know. So that's what I feel like we dealing with right now, though. I wish it can stop. I hope it'll stop, but it ain't gonna never stop. It's too many lives that men lost. Too much, too much bloodshed. So the the next generation, like the little children now, that's nine, ten, and you know, I hope they, I hope they have a whole different, you know what I'm saying, mentality than, you know. The youngsters now. I ain't putting y'all down, I ain't talking down I'm with y'all, I ain't against y'all. You feel all of us in this thing together. Well, bro, we just need y'all to respect that we been there before y'all. We ain't trying to, uh, y'all gotta walk y'all own shoes, y'all gotta make y'all own mistakes and stuff. You feel me? It ain't gonna be perfect, but we just, we just saying it can be much more respect in order than what's going on now, bro. Cause folks will crash out quick. Cause they ain't got that God in them. Bro, if I ain't had that God in me, bro, I probably would have been crashed out. Now I ain't crashed out a couple times though. You know, I ain't gonna act like you feel, but I'm to my life really just 
crashing out. You feel me? Well, yeah, I just feel like I just need to hide that child on. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel, man. There's so much going on. The world's so different now. Ain't no love. Don't nobody care for nothing. It's every man for they self, bro. It went like this. But, uh, yeah, I just want to, you know, run a little down to y'all, though, you know. Still scroll on game. You feel me? Check that music out. Nigga, I never stop dropping music till I'm through dropping music. It ain't gonna do nothing but get better. Oh yeah, and everything you see with this scroll low in the mean, whatever, that's me. I ain't 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 nobody gave me one dollar towards nothing. Being an artist, bro, it this shit costs money. This shit, you feel me? It ain't just, oh, I just rap, just do shit, bro. Every time you drop something, lay something, put a um album covers, paying for the beats, the studio time and shit, all that shit costs money. Pay somebody to promote the shit. This shit is, nigga, I'm the label. Ain't no label. I ain't got no label. Ain't nobody gave me that. I ain't signed no deals. Now, if I go get that deal money, you'll really see a nigga just cut up because I'm using their money. But I'm gonna keep growing this, I'm gonna keep growing myself, and I'm gonna keep growing this channel. Long as I'm out here living. Long the Lord bless me to live. But what I wanna say to y'all though, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all as my people. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that got any love for me, bro, I love y'all, bro. I hope y'all do good. I hope y'all do better, bro. I hope you had to take care of your family how you want to, bro. I just, I just hope nothing but the best for you. But to the end, though, it's on. Scroll over, guy, nigga.